Hey YouTube, Blackwatch Jazz here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series 1986 movie, Dinobot Slug with Daniel. So, we're going to start off with the packaging here. So we got a really nice render of Slug 1986, 07, Transformers the movie. We got the Transformers Generations, Takara Tomy, Transformers the movie, Dinobot, Sla Dinobot Slag, more slag, 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 him slag. Yeah, all right, and his backdrop. Always forget that with these guys. Come on, get over here. Come on, come on. All right, there. You go. All right. So here is slag. Yes, this is slag, not slug. It's slag. So, yeah. So, I'm going to start off with worst to best, which is this piece of crap, which can barely even move. So, you know what? I actually may as well not even touch up on it till the actual end, I guess. But to later tonight, I will probably have a review out, too. So, for a bit of a comparison... Here he is with, here he is with uh, Grimlock, and I think these two look glorious together. They look really good, and I cannot wait for Hasbro to do the other Dinobots, so yeah. So his articulation, this moves up, well his leg moves up and down, a little swivel right here. Bend right, bend right here. I don't know why you do that, though. It doesn't bend back like that, like Grimlock did. No head articulation, but you do get a hinge joint at the jaw so he can't open his mouth. So you also have a swivel here, hinge joint here, and a hinge joint here. No articulation at the tail. So, yeah, that's about it for this guy. So for his transformation... You're going to want to pop out this gun here. Pop these panels up. Like that. Take this, hinge it out. Hinge his leg down. And straighten it out on all these ratchet joints. Now, you're off. Now with this part. You're going to want to collapse this into the leg and then collapse that in. Hinge this up. I like to pivot the ankle just for a little more clearance. That all collapses in. Push that back down. One leg done. With the other. Wait. Collapse all that in. Hinge this up. Push that in. Close that. We got his legs done. And then swivel the waist so he'll be facing forward. Hinge the arms down. Hold on. Let's see if I... All right, that's good enough. Now hinge this chest piece out so you can hinge his shoulders out and have his arms properly adjusted. Then we can close this back up. Wait, no, 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 not time yet. Then you flip his jaw down and flip the head up. Close this all up. Now, we're almost done. Hinge this up. And I believe this hinges up too. I can't remember for some reason. Why can't I remember? I don't know why. I can't remember for all of a sudden. Hold on. I'm sure I can figure it out real quick. So this probably hinges up like that. Like that. Then what you're going to want to do is... Hinge these hands out. They just click in. Swivel the wrist so it's facing forward. Same 
on the other side. Click that in, swivel it around. Oh my god, I swear this backpack sucks. Alright, hold on. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright, so I'm back and I got that whole situation fixed up. So, yeah, I don't really like the backpack on this guy, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, yeah, I am pretty grateful to have this guy a little early, part of the early squad again. So, yeah, this guy is really cool. I absolutely love it. I was so surprised when I saw it in store. So, for his articulation, his head is on... Can, move, can go up that far. Uh, it can go down about, <laughs> about that far. And his head can probably do a full 360, but his mouthpiece is kind of hindering that. So his arm is on a ratchet joint. It can move all the way around. Bicep swivel. Bend it at the elbow. Swivel at the wrist. Ra uh, a bit of a ratchet joint on the leg. Yeah, so ratchet joints at the leg, thigh swivel, uh, a bit of a double bend at the knee, and a pivot at the ankle. And legs can kick out this far, kick out, or kick forward that far, and kick back that far. Oh my god, I swear I hate this backpack so much. Oh my god, I hate it. Hold on, let me fix it. Alright, so I got that fixed, and for his accessories, obviously, he has this piece of crap, but honestly, I, I don't even want to talk about it for the rest of the review, so yippee. So, here's his gun. Uh, it's kind of just white. Nothing really special about it. Of course, it can go into his hand. Yep, there we go. Went into his hand, and he can shoot if he feels like it, of course, obviously. So, for his size comparison, here he is with Grimlock, and they look pretty cool together, if I do say so myself. You know, the slag looks a little taller than Grimlock, just by a little bit, not including like this. But, yeah, they look pretty good together. So, yeah. And then here he is with Grindor, and yeah, as you can tell, he's coming up next. He is. He's coming up next. So, yeah. Well, that was my review off of the Transformers 1986 movie Slag. Really good figure. I'd for sure recommend him. And if you got Grimlock, let's face it, you have to get the rest of the Dinobots. And this guy is amazing. Absolutely love it. And I did find him from Target. I didn't steal it like those criminals. Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.